in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can utilize the dollar three to six defense to absolutely shut down the most effective offense in Madden 22 out of the gun bunch formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and latest strategies that we release every single day on the channel. Our goal every day is to get a little bit better at this game, and I have to be honest with you, Madden 22 is one of the most difficult games that I have ever played on the defensive side of the ball, from dropped interceptions to just different challenges that you face uh, with the coverage and the zone drops and all of that stuff. And so uh, because of that, the dollar three to six has become uh, one of those defenses that you can really utilize because a lot of people are passing the ball. They're passing the ball whether you're in dollar, whether you're in nickel three, three, five, whether it does not matter what defense you are in, people are passing the football in this year's game. And so uh, insert the dollar three to six. Now Noah up next, uh, one of my favorite players to study and just learn from, just won uh, a huge Madden tournament, I believe is the Madden Ultimate Thanksgiving tournament, and he's actually in the final eight of the ultimate wild card tournament coming up. And he utilized the dollar three two six as his primary defensive uh, defensive formation. There's a lot of benefits to this formation. One of them is that if they flip the formation, it's very difficult or it's very easy for the dollar to flip. The other one is the pressure you can get out of this is very effective out of the DB fire too. The other one though is that you've got you know seven uh, DBs on the field. It's got great pressure. It's got great alignment. There's a lot of benefits to this formation. And so that being said, today we're going to show you kind of a, a hidden little defense here out of the cover six, the cover six show four. Now, the reason I like this is because it is the main matching defense that we're going to be able to utilize out of this formation. Obviously, they have cover three match, but we know from experience that cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover six, those kind of coverages are the coverages that work best against the gun bunch or really any three wide receiver formation because it allows you to get numbers to the trip side to help you in defending that. So here is how I like to run the cover six show four out of the dollar three to six to be able to shut down the gun bunch meta. Now what we're going to do in this video is we are simply going to come out in this defense. I personally almost always will press coverage. The reason I like to press coverage is because as you can see right here, it just kind of disguises everything in this play. The next thing and most important thing you can do for your pass rush out of this formation is to go ahead and crash your defensive line up. As you can see right here, I crashed my defensive line up. To me, that is a very, very important adjustment okay from that point on uh, what I typically will go ahead and do in this in this example is I'm going to take the middle linebacker that is on the right side of the screen and I'm going to put him in man-to-man -man coverage onto the defensive back so as you see right there I've got him in man-to-man -man coverage on that defensive back the next thing I like to do is I like to take my user and go ahead and put him in a bluff blitz assignment. As you can see, he is, or I'm sorry, in a blitzing assignment so that I can shoot the run and I can allows me now to be able to drop one of the defensive linemen into a bluff blitz assignment if I choose. Uh, you don't have to do that. If you just want to rush three, that is fine. But what I also like to do is my last adjustment is I'm going to bluff blitz. Very important. I'm going to bluff blitz the defender on the left side of the screen. As you can see, that's going to leave him in a vert hook. Now, if you watch how this is going to play, your primary responsibility is to open up. I also like to hard flat the, the, the corner on the left, but your primary responsibility is to open up to the bunch side. And if the bunch, if there's any crossers from right to left, you're going to take them. So like if there's a deep crossing route, a deep post route, anything like that, you're going to take them with your user. If there's not a crosser, then you're going to basically kind of play the intermediate stuff over in this little middle area of the field. So at the snap of the ball, I'm going to show you one of the best plays in the game. That is double post. And what you're going to see is here, I'm opening up. Oh, there's a post. Okay, I'll take the post. And as you can see, everything else is pretty much bagged on this play. So we're going to jump into instant replay and kind of share with you what is going on. By the bluff blitz assignment that we put our guy on over here is a very good assignment because essentially what it's going to mean is it's going to mean that he is going to be in man-to-man -man coverage on the running back. But to be honest with you, he's actually going to play a little bit better. Um, it, it, it's kind of a weird little thing this year, but when you put a bluff blitz to the running back side, they almost always guard the running back. 
And then if their running back doesn't go on a route, they kind of act as like a spy over the middle of the field. So you're in rush three, as you can see here. And then the only thing is this drag coming across. Now, what you're going to see is this hard flat is going to be right here for the drag. In this example, they do have this route open, but everything else is pretty much bagged on this play. If you want to with your user, once you kind of pass off this running back here, you can feel free to kind of come back in this area yourself and take some of that stuff away because it matches so well on the double post. Now, uh, again, let me show you the setup one more time. So what I like to do is press hard flat that left of screen outside cornerback. I like to man up the hook curl defender onto the tight end. And then I like to take the slot corner on the left and I like to put him into a bluff blitz assignment and I like to pass him in. Now what you're gonna notice is, let's say for example, I go to the Z spot and go. Z spot and go is a traditional flood uh, to the bunch side. And what you're gonna see is we're gonna open up, okay, oh, flooding concept, and as you can see, this is gonna match that really well. And if you have a good corner, you're gonna pretty much intercept any corner route. So if it's a corner route to the slot receiver of the bunch, you see I've got great coverage on that. I wanna show you just for purpose of demonstration here, uh, this is a flooding combination as well. And now I want you to watch how this is gonna defend that corner route to uh, Antonio Brown. So again, just crash your line up. We're gonna soft, or uh, we're going to hard flat the linebacker, or I'm sorry, the corner that is on the the solo receiver side. And then really important, man up that tight end with that hook curl defender. You're gonna be standing kind of right in here. Uh, and again, we're just gonna do that little bluff blitz to kind of get that man to man assignment. The play art, don't worry about it. It's just kind of glitched out. But as you can see, that corner route as well is going to get bagged every single time. So the beauty of this is they basically can't run a flood to the bunch side. And in fact, I'm going to go to the play flood right now. Whenever somebody sees match, one of the things that you will see that they will consistently do is they will call the play flood from bunch because most people know that as a very good match beater. Well, what you're going to notice is because we've got the tight end manned up and we've got a curl flat defender, you're going to see it's a lot harder of a throw. You're going to have great match coverage. So again, any flooding combination to the bunch side, you really don't have to worry about it too much. We're going to guard verticals just fine. We're going to guard flood. We're going to guard Z spot and go. We're going to guard all of those things. Now, uh, let me check real quick and make sure, but I want to show you one of the main reasons why I do that adjustment that I just showed you to that slot cornerback. So if I were to go to this play mesh spot, and I'm actually going to create a mesh post out of this, but uh, if I were to go to this seam wheel, one of the best routes in gun bunch is the seam wheel to the running back. Why? Because you've got this guy on the outside that you can easily just put him into like an out route, and you're going to have a lot of, you know, you're just going to be able to create a lot of separation. So I'm going to create kind of mesh post. This is a great setup, okay? One of the best setups in bunch. All we're going to do is the exact same adjustments. We're going to crash our line up, blitz our user right in here. We're going to kind of stand right here so we can blow up the run. And then we're going to have a hard flat defender on that backside. We've got the tight end manned up, so if he goes to the flat, we're going to have good coverage. And then, really important, we're going to bluff blitz the defensive back that is that slot DB. As you see right there on the vert hook, we bluff blitz him and pass him in. Watch what he does to the seam wheel. This is the best zone in the entire game for guarding this seam wheel, as you can see right there. Against any other zone combination on that side, nine times out of 10, they're gonna hit that seam wheel over and over and over again. That is one of the main reasons why I absolutely love this defense because we're able to take the running back away with the dollar and then we're also still able to rush three. We can still rush three uh, very easily. And again, if, if I go back to that same combination, again, I don't have to worry about the running back. I don't. I don't have to worry about the seam wheel. So I'm free to open to this side. And if there is a post pattern, then I am free to take that as a user. So again, you're going to see something to this extent. I open up here. Now I'm kind of playing chess with them. And obviously the hitch is open. And there's ways that we could cover that. But you see kind of the idea of what I'm getting at and why this defense it really is probably the best way to defend Gun Bunch. Now I wanna go over uh, one last thing and then we'll let you guys go. And this is how you stop some of the bombs that a lot of people like to use out of the Gun Bunch. Again, we're gonna use the exact same defense that we just showed you. Um, the beauty of this is the man up on the tight end is gonna stop 99% of the bombs. And then in this example from PA Dig Fork, you're going to see here that this deep post route, because of the matching combination from the cover six, you're going to see that that post is gonna get bagged and there's no way to bomb this coverage. This coverage is bomb proof, all the match beaters won't work because of that man up to the tight end. And so this is why this is probably my favorite defense. And then the beauty of this is if we want to, 
we can occasionally send some pressure and have this nice cover six kind of matching uh, shell behind it. Maybe put some hard flats on the field like this. This is a great play. If they're running five out every play, you could go to this little five-man blitzing concept and have yourself some pressure. So that's one of the reasons why I love Dollar. If you guys want to learn more about the Dollar defense, I put it in my Patreon membership. Uh, you can join the Patreon membership for just $10 uh, today by clicking the link in the description below. By clicking that link and joining the Patreon membership, you're not only going to get access to the Dollar uh, defense, but you're going to get access to 13 offensive and defensive ebooks that I have put into that into that membership for you. You'll get any any access to any ebook that I release going forward as well. So as long as your subscription is active, it's 10 bucks a month. As long as your subscription is active, you're going to get every access to every ebook that I release in the future. And we've got four defenses right on the cusp of being ready to release them. And they are. I'm just telling you, if you think this dollar defense is good, you're going to love what we've come up with over the last month. I've been lobbing so hard uh, for the last two to three months in this game and really trying to study it as best as I can and try to figure out some ways that we can defend some of the best offenses in the game. The dollar three two six is a very, very good defense, and this cover six is really, really good for a lot of what the bunch concepts are going to be. So if you want to learn that defense, be sure to join the Patreon membership. Again, you can click that link in the description. I put it down there for you, and you can grab Grab that membership for just 10 bucks uh, today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to, again, if you want to grab that membership, there is a link in the description. So head on down there and check that out.